How do you study infinity? This simple trick, invented by Sir Roger Penrose, lets physicists and mathematicians do the impossible and drag something infinitely far away so that it's right next door. It's called conformal compactification, and it's my bread and butter. Let me explain how it works. You start out with an infinite spacetime you want to study. Perhaps it's like our universe. If our universe continues to expand, it will expand forever, and so the universe's existence will extend infinitely into the future. And we can work with that future infinity and still talk about it sensibly mathematically by rescaling the universe. Of course, we can't rescale the actual universe, but we can rescale the mathematics we use to make sense of it. The idea goes something like this. Rather than having each year count for the same amount of time, suppose instead we say that this year counts for one year, then we take the next year and rescale it to half a year, then the year after that to be half of that, and so on. If we do that, then each subsequent year is rescaled to a smaller and smaller time, so that all of the future years, all infinity of them of the universe, have been shrunk to fit within just two years. Mathematically, of course. Now, you might say that's cheating, and that we're not studying infinity anymore. But in doing this mathematical trick of rescaling, a lot of features of the space-time are preserved. Angles don't change, durations change in controllable ways, and 9 out of the 10 degrees of freedom in the gravitational description of the space-time are left unchanged. And more than that, everything else that does change changes in exactly a way that we can make sense of. And that means that we can treat infinitely far in the future in the same way we treat any other moment in the future of our universe. We can do operations across all of space-time, including the future infinity, so long as we remember to undo all of it at the end of the computation. Now, lest you think this only works for the infinite future, a nearly identical mathematical technique works for infinitely large spaces, bringing them in from infinity. Mathematically speaking, this technique amounts to multiplying the space-time metric by a function that goes to zero as the distance or duration grows to infinity. Then we can promote quantities in the real, unscaled space-time to unphysical quantities that only change by rescaling themselves. Then it's just like doing geometry and physics in a finite space. Infinity really isn't that scary.